Shalom, everybody. My name is Officer Kayad, one out of ISUPK, Jamaica. All right, so watch this now. We are going to touch on a little, you know what I mean? Encounter a little video. Um, marching for peace, you understand? So we are, going to, we are going to break down the video to show you, you know what I mean? Some, you know what I mean, groups in Jamaica, including the churches, their solution for, you know what I mean, the crime and violence that has been, you know what I mean, taking over Jamaica is to march, you understand? And we're going to go over the tape and then we're going to discuss, you know what I mean, the problem with this situation, you understand? So, you know what I mean, remember to like the video, share, you understand? Leave in a comment what you think, what you think marching can help, you understand? All right, so watch out now. Without further ado, we're going to go through the tape. And then we'll break it down point by point. What is the problem with this scenario right here? And why, you know what I mean? Why marching does not help? You know what I mean? So without further ado, this is the tip. We want peace. 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 That we love our community and we will not stand for what is taking place at the start. Today we are doing a march in the community against violence. On the 12th of June, we had our first march, but it was only done in the community of Hermitage. When we finished that march, we got past some persons in Ghostville and August Town and other areas asking us if we could do the same for their section. And we decided to do, we decided to just go out into the other areas and spread our wings among them and tonight. All right, so watch this. We are all for peace, you know what I mean? Because, you see, the bloodletting that is taking place right now in Jamaica, you know what I mean? It's us killing each other, you know what I mean? And it has always been like this, us killing each other, you understand? But, you know what I mean? Now, we have, there, there have always been marches, you know, you know what I mean? Whenever crime gets out of control, you have the church come out and other groups, you understand, come out and they march. But the question is, has this ever worked? You know what I mean? Does this address the underlying problem of what is the cause of the crime and the killing and the murder that is taking place in Jamaica? You understand? Does marching address the, 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 the root cause of the murder? You understand? The answer is no. You coming out into someone's community that is very volatile, and you march, we want peace, we want peace. Does that, you know what I mean, does that obtain peace? You know what I mean, does that encourage peace in the heart of whoever is committing the murder? Or does the underlying problem still remain? You know what I mean, the lack of opportunity, you know what I mean, lack of social, you know what I mean, reform here in Jamaica, you understand? The lack of, you know what I mean, the, the discrimination against the youth, them, the, the, the ghetto youth, them, the black youth, them, the descendants of the slaves, you know what I mean? Where they are, you know what I mean, omitted from society, where there's no opportunity for them, you know what I mean? That they can make a life and a hope and generally, you know, you know what I mean? We not talk about the individuals who actually make it out of the ghetto, which is a small minority. You understand? That actually become successful, leave out of the ghetto. The majority of people in the garrison, you know what I mean? They are disenfranchised. You understand? And they are omitted from society. The system that is in place has never, you know what I mean, catered to the needs of our people. So we coming out and marching, right? Is It just means that we are ignorant to what the cause of the problem is. You understand? We are ignorant to the cause of why there are so many crime and violence in Jamaica. You understand? This does show you a detachment from reality by these groups that come out and, and march, and especially the Christian church. We bash the Christian church a lot, you know, because they have been selling you a dream. You understand? And they don't teach you know, the real root and cause of what the problem is among black people. They teach you know, say, yo, everybody can be saved. You know what I mean? God love everybody. Meanwhile, you die. And as a result, you have to march. You understand? But these groups that are marching, they seem to be very, you know what I mean, detached from the reality that are, and the root and the cause of why there is so much bloodletting in Jamaica. You understand? But on the surface, I break it down too, you know. 
Zin? So it's uh, it's about, you know what I mean? It's about us not having proper opportunities for our whole. You know what I mean? Me not, as I say, I'm not talking about the, the, the ones them who have the brain and got the opportunity to go to college and, and, and after leaving college, because that's the next thing, you know. Leaving college and finding a good job and not finding yourself back into the garrison where, you know what I mean, is, is a very acidic, for lack of a better word, to take a word from, um, what name? Um, politics, watch acidic community, you know what I mean? So, you, there are exceptions, and the, these exceptions are very small. Enough, you, in the garrison right now, involved in a crime, you know, been to college, you know, because this is the Augustown community, that is near you where you take, right? Enough, you used to go to college and, and them have good education and them, you know what I mean, them have fire gun, you understand? So what is the cause? What is the root and the cause that push back, you know what I mean, our, our people in this acidic, you know what I mean, community, you know what I mean, which, which, which result in crime and violence? All right, so now watch this. We here in the ISUP can command in general, your honor. We know the root and the cause of it. And this is because, as we said before, we are the children of Israel and we were given the laws of the Most High. Right? We break these laws and the Hebrew records, which people ignorantly call Bible, which just means library. You understand? The Hebrew records, which were written by our foreparents, prophesied that we would go into slavery before breaking these laws. And as a result, or young men would be evil against each other. I'm paraphrasing. You understand? These are all in Deuteronomy um, chapter 28. You understand? So the cause, the root cause of us being in this condition, you know what I mean, is not being addressed by the Christian church. Because at the Christian church had our best interests at heart are if they had the knowledge, you know what I mean? If they had the knowledge and understanding of the state that we are in and why we are in it, they would have showed you where your history is in the Bible and give you the solution from out, out of the Bible. Instead, to show you that the Christian church and these groups, which these groups, you know, you're going to find out later in this video, that these groups are not necessarily, you know what I mean, about solving crime. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you down in the video. So don't stay with me. Just bear with me. I do a lot of talking, but just bear with me. See? The Christian church, it seems like God is not in the Christian church because there is a church on every corner here in Jamaica. You know what I mean? In one community, you will find at least three churches. You understand? And all the praying and all this, you know what I mean? Praising God that they have done for how many years has never resulted in the fall of crime. So what is the cause? You understand? So it's, it's clear that Christianity, the church, does not have the solution. We are the church now have to come out and be marching with other advocate groups. So these churches are no different from advocate groups. Like you are no longer the, the house of God if now you have to join with a, you know what I mean, a, what you call it now, a carnal group. You know what I mean? You are no longer the, 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 the men and prophets of God. If no, you have to join up with the regular society and marching. A march is a protest, you know. So you are protest, protesting against, you know what I mean, the disenfranchised youth, which they are the ones committing the crime. But if you can't see that they are the victims, everybody there in the garrison, that they are the victims, the ones committing the crimes and the ones that are suffering from the crime. If you can't see it, you don't have wisdom and you're not no prophet of the most High. You understand? If you can't see that this system, this society, you know what I mean, create criminals, then you are a part of the problem. You are protesting to the wrong people. You are protesting to the disenfranchised and not the system that creates the disenfranchised. You understand? So, it's clear that the Christian church and these advocate groups don't have the proper understanding of what is going on. And it's a joke to me. It's a, it's comedy. It's a cartoon to see people going in with the crime-ridden um, communities and say, we want peace. We want peace. That means you're a cartoon. You're, you're not real. You know what I mean? You think you're going around in a, in, a, in a volatile area and say, we want peace. Nobody will take you serious. You know what I mean? And look, 
and we say it all the while it takes men you know what i mean it takes the strength of a man to really make a change and notice all these groups are led by women nobody no gunman now go respect you know what i mean a woman's perspective on and 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 what they are doing you understand we want peace it's like a cry for help you know what i mean it's a cry for help and not a demand for it's, it's, it's not a strong stance you get to me i say and in any buckle you don't want the woman on the forefront you know what i mean because if you put your woman them in war oh you're going and you going out in the community against crime you're go, it, if the man them this all right if you don't know work with the police let's just you know what i mean put this in a proper context you know what i mean hypothetically see if you don't work with the police and the media and you go in the community them right and we want peace suppose all right hypothetically speaking if one of them gun money decides say, boy i may take one say offensive you know like gonna protest against me you know and decide say yo may i kill the whole you know? what is on the defense you understand so me just, a, me just a break it down for sure you know, say yo this is not practical you know you understand this is not a practical thing and we here in the isupk isupk meaning israelite school of universal practical knowledge we have the solution you understand we have the solution to crime and the solution to crime is stop breaking the most of laws thou shall not murder you understand we need to teach that to the youth them from them a youth from them a baby you understand them know that these are covenants given to you by the most high from the creator himself and you are a special people to the most high your brother your black brother you know what i mean of the same splitting image of christ christ look like you you understand so all right another problem no the Christian church have always promoted this white Jesus. Whether or not them claim, say them pray to it, but that's the, you know what I mean? The white Jesus is like the logo. It on the cross is the logo for Christianity. If you, pro, if you promote a white savior, you know what I mean? Two black people who have been enslaved by the same oppressive, you know what I mean? Caucasian looking people. If you promote dear God and tell them worship this, you know what I mean, this, this concept of God, right? To the same oppressed people, they're not going to eat themselves, man. They're not going to eat themselves. And by eating themselves, crime and violence. You get to me and say, you notice, say, yo, our, you know what I mean, the gunman them in the community, them don't kill Chinese people, them don't kill white people, them don't kill, you know what I mean, and I'm not saying they should go out and do these things right but notice that they only kill their own people you know what i mean this problem is deeper than the carnal thinking of these groups these groups think they think them can go out and protest but it's deeper it's the brainwash of christianity that makes the youth them hate them one another enough to shoot down them one another because god no look like you and you are a slave you understand so if you can grasp the concept there you know we see what me i try to say you understand many of you probably not able to grasp it understand you understand because guess what the brainwash is so deep but it's the concept of this white god image that makes black people hate themselves you understand especially if you were enslaved by the same people and the same people have told you that you have no value you believe it because god look like them and look at you in your garrison and look where they are in their rich community ruling the world you understand all right, me now go to rant on much longer. You know what I mean? We're gonna jump back into the tape because I want to show you something in the tape. You understand? You no, know, give the people them some form of, 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 of peace of mind. What motivated you to do this march? Well, we have been seeing too many negative things happening in the community, too many gun violence, too many killing. And um, what we wanted to do is to just put a lid on it because we know that these young men that are out in the field doing these things seen us doing the march and everything we are hoping that they would be able to understand that it's frustrating everybody within the community and what we really really want is for them to understand that we want to touch base with them soften their hearts and you know recreate their minds from you know from the the negative things that they are doing right now we know it's not going to be a she she wants to soften the heart of these you know what i mean of the men that are committing the crime but them no know say these very men that commit the crime, they are Christians just like you. These men that are killing each other in these communities, 
they are just like you, they are Christians, they have the same belief. You are, you are try to suffer them out, you suffer them out from them young already. And the same mentality like you them have is just that them in a different situation and them carry it out in a different manner. The same hate that you have for your own people because of Christianity is the same hate them have. But you know what your hate do? Your hate for your people because you are more fortunate than them. Right? Your eight make you live in a different community than where you were brought up in. You're not living at the garrison no more. You live elsewhere. I mean, I ask you and tell you, yo, you, if you check it, you might find out that this lady does not live in Augustown. She lives in probably, you know what I mean, um, Mona or one of them bigger communities. You see? I could be wrong. You understand? But in most cases, that is the case. They grew up in Augustown and when they become successful, they move out. Not saying that there's nothing wrong with, with moving out, you know. See? Not saying that there's nothing wrong, but your condition is different from the man them who's still living in the community. You know what I mean? You no longer can relate if you could have related in the first place. You understand? So, your hatred for your people make you move away from your people. You understand? Their hatred for, for them people because them can't move out is killing them own people. You understand? You get it now? And that is all because of Christianity. You understand? The Christian mindset that we have here in Jamaica is the reason why we kill each other. And because we break these laws of the Most High, being the children of the Most High, which society teaches us that we are not, that Christianity teaches us that we are not, and they hold the very Bible that says we are. You understand? Because of this is why we eat one another. You understand? All right. So we will continue to play out the tape and we will show you that this, this woman for her first agenda is not no crime. You understand? An easy task. It's going to be on a long journey also because it's not like a today, today thing. All right. So we continue to do this on a very regular basis, going around trying to make amends, trying to see if we can recapture the hearts and minds of, of persons. Tell us again the things that are participating today. The peace builders from the August Song Group alongside with us today and the process from the church that will be coming in to assist us from the Islamic New Testament Church of God that will be coming in with us also. Anything to do with peace, as long as I have peace and people are advocates of peace, I am here. That's me. I think that people in general don't understand their own power and don't understand that um, it's basically a numbers game because if the entire law by and citizen of the community to come out and make a statement it will send a powerful signal to the perpetrators of violence people need to understand that the, the people who are hell-bent and much of the community will not change unless you force them to change and that is where the the the, the numbers come in, in relation to the decent law by and citizens right too many people just do not understand how transformation works. And you know what I mean? You don't understand how transformation works because you say force them to change. How, how is a group of women, you know what I mean? A group of women marching around, we want peace, we want peace, is going to force anybody to change. You know what I mean? You understand? So, you know what I mean? It's not practical. And they've been doing this um, for years, for decades, they have been taking this stance, you know what I mean? Using this measure and it has not worked, you know what I mean? It has not worked and it's always the Christian church that is, you know what I mean, right in the middle of it, you understand? Protesting against the very people that are being disenfranchised to show you that they don't really know why, who, who, you know what I mean? That they are on the side of the oppressor. Because you pro you coming in the, co the community and protesting against the gunman, which is created by this society, means you are with the society that create these gunmen. Because if you can't see that the society, you know what I mean, and how society and what society does to, you know what I mean, our black people, the descendants of the slave, if you can't see that the system is the problem, you are a part of the problem. And you, them never listen to you know? You know what I mean? The youth, them not take on no serious. When them see you, know, them just walk out here you know, and go through. And them commit the crime the same way. You know what I mean? You know, you know, cannot make a change. All right. So Martin Luther King is the, the founder of marching, basically. You know what I mean? 
him, you know, the civil rights movements back in the um, the 70s and the 80s and, you know what I mean, they're about, right? What they did, you know what I mean? And bear in mind, Chris, um, um, Martin Luther King, he was a Christian pastor. It's always a Christian church that takes marching and use marching as, you know what I mean, as a weapon or the solution for the problems where us as black people face. See, but what happened? Martin Luther King rallied up the people them, you know what I mean, for go out and march. The pol- he didn't enter in the, ma- in the in protest and them thing there, you know. You know what I mean? Where the people them and get them crack skull and mash up and dog attack them and they mash spray a span them, you know. You see? Him stay aside from that, you know. But the people them bear the brunt. You know what I mean? They were the one that got violated by the police and white supremacists by marching and what did that do by marching martin luther king integrated black people into society right in the white society right and as a result black people no longer own businesses which is a part of why crime and violence is um, everywhere that we are you understand we don't own the legacies that we pass down to our children to come and inherit because we integrate into the white man's system. You know what I mean? So we use his restaurants, is this, is that. Jamaica is just a small version of what America is. You know what I mean? You know, a man might have a one cook shop in a Jamaica still, but the big things them where you can pass down well to your children is owned by the oppressors. You understand? So Martin Luther King integrated us into them bus, them transportation system, which we, we would have owned our own bus you know what I mean, companies, you know what I mean, we would have owned our own business, remember Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Black Wall Street. So, we would have said that for say this, the marching has never worked, because right now we are more under racism in America, and the, the powers that be that control Jamaica, rest assured that they are the same racists like the ones them over there in America, Right? No, don't disagree with me. They are the ones that own the power, own our politicians. You understand? So if Martin Luther King march, and as a result, we as a people had no businesses, own nothing, and become so dependent of, on the racist system that rules over us, what do you think the march in here for crime and violence will, will accomplish? It won't accomplish nothing because marching has never accomplished anything. Marching is not the way, you know what I mean? Marching and, and protesting is like a defeatist kind of, you know what I mean, stance. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So, all right, I'm going to just play out the rest of the tape, you know what I mean? For those who are still, you know what I mean, watching the video, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shalom to you, know? And, you know what I mean? Click the like button, share. If you don't agree with what I say, you understand? Leave a comment. Tell me one thing. Is marching going to help Jamaica's crime problem as marching ever work? You understand? Yeah, man. And I think that is our biggest setback so far. Lack of understanding as, as to what this, this community, community, when I said this community, I mean the greater August, including Permitted Ghost Villa, African Gardens, and Bigot Gardens, right? The August one is that. You know, the citizens can't complain because, number one, they can't say they don't see action because people are here standing up, but we don't have enough people who are standing up, right? And that is really hampering the, the growth and the progress. People have a view that it's a police job, it's a police thing, but it is more on the part of the citizens and the police. Because, number one, the, the police are not everywhere in the community. And I'm right, this is not the police job. You know what I mean? The police is not even our police. The police is to protect the rest of society from the slaves who are, you know what I mean, disenfranchised, killing each other. The police is to keep the violence out of the rich communities. They are the slave catchers in the past and they have evolved to police. You understand? Their job is the same. You know what I mean? So we know many police come from the garrison to and them think, no man, I'm not the job, man. No, you're not your job. You just don't know where I go on. You understand? This is not to solve any kind of crime. But you're right. The police can't solve this because the police themselves is not just or righteous. You understand? You don't need men of God that are in the ISUPK and the commanding general, your honor, to help you know, alleviate these problems. You know what I mean? We can, we can, we can solve crime. You know? 
we just need everybody to understand, say, yo, these laws in the Bible are made for you to keep, and if you break them, you will have crime. You understand? Or are you, then we will grow poor and impoverished, you know what I mean? And we'll be disenfranchised. And the system will, will, you know what I mean, rule on top of them, oppress them, keep them in the condition that they are in, and then things will blow out of proportion. The youth, they will find alternative means of financing which involve criminality because this society does not include them. You understand? Yeah, man. So him right. The police can't solve the problem. And we have to solve it. And we need to come back to these laws here in the Bible. You know what I mean? Make sure to go over to ISUPK Jamaica where we break down scriptures and, you know what I mean, pull scriptures to show you what the Bible say about, you know what I mean? Everything that I'm saying right here, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Make sure to go over there, subscribe, ISUPK Jamaica, find me on um, Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, the most is blessing us on TikTok, you know what I mean? It's pushing the thing on TikTok, you understand? Find us there, you understand? Okay. But if the, um, the persons who are everywhere in the community, they can cover every inch of the community, are the citizens, right? And if the citizens just understand their role and their power, you know, in no time, right across Jamaica, we would be, we, we would be able to overcome the problem of, you know, of violence. Too many people are actually in a blind eye. And as long as that can to happen, mm -hmm. um, the change will not come. But the change will come very, very, mm -hmm. very slowly. Is it that the area is targeted? I'm not sure because we, I'm not, we're not sure because that is what we want to do to save, to, to fear from persons if, it's this, if this is a targeted area. Because even so, shots were fired in this community last night. But it's not going to doubt no spirit. We think we have a right to show persons that as women, we have the strength to hold down and to. To, to, to embrace and to bring back persons together. All right, let's go back a little bit. You know what I mean? So you can see our title. You notice you mentioned women a while ago. This is not about crime. This is about women. You understand? These groups are here in Jamaica trying to promote women's rights. And as a result of pushing women's rights, men now have no rights. So you'll find say woman's right, you know what I mean, which are going to include transgender women. You know what I mean? Homosexuality, all them little things there. You know what I mean? And that them really, they have to push. Them just are use the crime and violence to get, you know what I mean? The camera and the spotlight on themselves. Notice our title. Linny Beth Henry, chairperson, hermitage, women for peace. You know what I mean? So it's always women. You know what I mean? It can't just be people for peace. It's always women. So hold well on. Our woman them, our man them, you know what I mean? We not work together. Why we not try to separate we from our woman them? Why these groups are here for, you know what I mean? Promote women and at the same time, what? Would the man them not important to? You know what I mean? Does not our women and our man go hand in hand? Shouldn't our women and our men work together? Why is always a group for women? You know what I mean? This I come from the United States. It a come from, you know what I mean? Our oppressors. And it's just here to divide the woman them from the man and destroy us as a family. And this contributes to crime. Because when you, dis when you separate the man and the woman, children are going to born the same way because women still need man for sex. You understand? And when women get man for sex and hate the man, I like these groups make women feel like them no need man, she will raise that child upon her own. And that child will turn gunman. You understand? A whole heap of underline, a whole heap of systems are in place against us. And we in the ISUPK, we bring out that, you know what I mean, enemies are at the gate and these are the problems. And these are the system in place to make sure that these problems remain. You understand? So, yeah, I just that really want to point out, but make me know what I want to think, you know what I mean? Tell me, does marching work? Are these groups here for our best interests? You know what I mean? Yeah, man, just tell me what you think, man. Click the like button and the subscribe. You know what I mean? Leave in the comment, as I said before. You know what I mean? Go to ISUPK Jamaica on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. You understand? Subscribe to every ISUPK channel there is because there is no other place of valuable information. You know what I mean? We just going to get caught up in the whole rat race with, you know what I mean? All type of different groups of fight for and attention for leading in the wrong part. But the ISUPK, our stance is firm. You know what I mean? We are here for the re-education of the black, Hispanics, and native Indians. You know what I mean? We the ISUPK and the commanding general, Yahana. And with that, I say shalom.